Hi guys, it's Madame Aurora here and I'm playing Amnesia Memories. I hope everybody's having a good day and I hope you're ready for more sucky voice acting. So let's get going with Thomas' playthrough. Orion, good morning. Over here, you can't see me but I'm right next to you. Have you forgotten about me? Nah, I doubt you've forgotten that much, right? But you sure slept a lot. Although I guess the only thing to do in the hospital is sleep. I wonder if they'll do more tests today. I doubt they'll come just in. They'll just come in and be like, "Okay, you can leave now." <laughs> hmm, is someone coming? Good morning. Are you feeling well? We were planning to do an MRI today, but the machine has been having some problems this morning. I'll have to take the MRI tomorrow. I'm very sorry. I'll come back to take your temperature after breakfast. Just relax and rest for today. Is Koma come and see me? No way! I hope that wasn't too loud, guys. I'm so sorry. I'll edit around with that if that was. Our situation is just getting worse and worse. With this total lack of stimulation, your mind will just keep getting duller. Well, I guess it wouldn't be good if you left the hospital without taking those tests, and there ended up being some major problem. Does it skip to tomorrow? Oh no, it's evening. Huh? He fell asleep again. There really is nothing to do here. Hmm, someone's here. Toma! Is, is it okay to be up, Amaya? Oh, it's Toma. I brought your insurance card by yesterday, but you were sleeping, so I left it with the nurse. You don't look as pale today. Seeing how your head isn't bandaged, I guess the injury wasn't too bad. But you do still seem pretty spaced out. Are you really alright? Alright. I asked the nurse, but apparently the MRI machine is broken, so they can't take a scan today. She also asked that I let you get more rest. She said if I kept coming by, it'd be too much excitement for you, and you'd have to stay home. <laughs> no, 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 please excite her, that sounds so fun. <laughs> Okay, that sounds so wrong. And that's the number one thing her brain needs right now. Anyway, seeing how that's the case, I'll just go home for today. I'm glad I got to see your face. I feel a little better now. Oh, so sweet. I'll come back tomorrow. See you. Uh -huh. Our only source for memories just left. Ha. Ha. I don't know how to do that. This is a real problem. At this rate, not only will you not be able to remember anything, you will actually get worse. Let's leave the hospital as soon as they do the MRI tomorrow, Maya. Toma. This is bad. Uh-oh. You aren't getting the stimulation and also... Hey, am I? Answer me. Hey! I thought this might happen, but I didn't expect it to get this bad. This isn't good. I thought you'd be able to get out of the hospital today. I'm sorry. They said that Mara would be fixed by tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see for another day. I can't believe them. I sure hope they don't tell us to wait until tomorrow again. And to top it off, our last ray of hope, Toma. They said that I won't be able to do any scans today either. They just asked what you try to get some rest. I should do like the little cry memory voice thing, but I'm not. Just passed on that message and then left two minutes later. He should have stayed. He could have reminisced about old memories. Ah, sheesh. This environment is no good. The hospital is too dangerous. Let's go home tomorrow after the MRI scan is done, Amaya. Farewell was so sad. Well, the little image, the little card on the steam, it was kind of sad looking. They need to, like, bring Orion back somebody, like, in a human. Good morning, today's the third day you've been in the hospital. And finally, on the third day, your condition is worsened enough that you can see me. Hey, it's been a while. It's nice that we can talk face to face again. Yep, yep. I bet if you weren't able to see my real cuteness every day, things would be pretty dreary around here, right? 
<laughs> sorry. We were starting to separate, but then we ended up merging back together again. And in other words, the memories that were returning to you have been locked away again. If you don't get out of the hospital today, it'll be really bad. There haven't been an is any issues over the past three days, so I'm positive your injuries aren't having some terrible effect on you. That's why you should really insist on being released. It doesn't matter if they try to stop you. No issues with the MRI scan. Okay, everything looks good. You can leave the hospital this afternoon. Someone's coming to pick you up. Toma. Well, then they gave you the okay to leave pretty easily. We braced ourselves for nothing, and who's coming to pick you up? Your family? But nobody besides Toma showed while you were hospitalized. Is it Sawa? Someone here is pick you up. Make sure you stop by the nurse's station before you leave. It's Toma. Good morning. Are you up? Wow, so Toma really did come to pick you up. He's good at taking care of you. I'm grateful. But seeing as how your family didn't visit at a time like this, I hazard a guess that they live pretty far away. I asked about your test results. I had to lie and say I was family, though. They said the tests were negative of any issues and that the injury on your head is light and should heal in two or three days. They also said your memory seemed to be a little hazy, so I would watch over you for a while. Apparently this happens pretty often to people involved in traffic accidents. What? I was hit by a car, wasn't I? They don't remember anything about the incident, so they recommended that I watch you for about a week, and if you show no signs of improvement, they need to re-examine you. Anyway, let's go home. I'll give you some time to get dressed. Just come out into the hallway when you're ready. It's finally time for us to leave the hospital. This is great. Oh, this is great. Not this. I sound like this is the other word. I did say it right. Ignore me, people. It's good that you have Toma around. We don't know the way back to your house, or even your address. And it sounds like he and the doctor came up with their own reasons that your memories are a bit wonky right now. But we can't slack off. If we don't recover your memories quickly, you might be returned here. Did Ukiyo hit me? I'm gonna be so upset if Ukiyo hit me. Ukiyo, not Ikiyo. Ikiyo. Ukiyo. You need to avoid coming back here at all costs. Alright, Toma's waiting for you. Hurry up and get ready, then we can meet up with him outside. <laughs> One hour later, there's so many of these. Is this your place? You're finally back home. This is good. Really good. Let's check around once we're inside. We can check up on your family situation and friends. There might even be something that'll trigger your old memories. Now then, which one's your room? Oh, sorry. Could you wait here a minute? Huh? Wait, but what? Oh, he's gone. He's probably doing something. Oh. Thought you might have mail, but there wasn't blah blah blah. There's not a period there. But there wasn't anything there. You could check later, too, if you want to. If you want. Oh god, people, I'm sorry, I cannot read. Ah, he checked your mailbox for you. That's very considerate. Wait, the mailboxes are right over there? Why couldn't the two of you just check together? Hmm, I don't really get it, but maybe Toma's just a chival chivalrous kind of guy. We really don't know anything else about Toma besides the fact that he's one of your friends. I'm sure you're tired. I'll leave your stuff over here. Huh? So this is your room? It seems pretty basic. It doesn't look like there would be much information here. Oh, right, right. Here. A cell phone. Your other one fell and broke, so I went ahead and got you a new one. If you don't like it, you can get a different one on your own. This one's just temporary. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me guys, I'm not drunk. I might be a little bit tired, even though I haven't had to work for the past couple of days, but I nah. Anyways. What? No way. Is, is it really alright for him to do something like this for you, too? He's really helpful. Um, don't worry, I just figured it would have been an issue if you didn't have one. Still, this is the first time I heard you talk today. You're being pretty quiet. I guess you just aren't feeling like yourself. Uh, that's exactly right, but you can't really tell him the truth. Blah, blah, blah. Still was talking in his voice. Also, why so formal? It's creepy. Just talk normally. Okay, right. He's a friend. There's no need to be so formal with him. 
Also, are you having a hard time remembering things too? Seeing how formal you are with me, don't tell me you don't know who I am. Do you know whose house this is and how long you've been living here? I'm sure you remember basic things like that, but I'm getting worried now after seeing you so spaced out. So how much do you remember? Uh, that's kind of hard to answer. so straightforwardly you don't remember really you're not joking you don't remember anything you've got to be kidding your injury was that serious well I guess it's no use talking about it the doctor mentioned it might happen and I'm sure you'll get better in two or three days and if you don't it's back to the hospital I wonder which section you'll end up in next maybe even neurosurgery anywhere in the hospital would be bad this is really problematic all oh, right I still haven't told your mom or dad about any of this. I was wondering about whether I should tell them or not, but this is pretty important. I figured you should tell them yourself. But we're in them with, when they're overseas is a good, ah, overseas? That must mean your parents are working overseas and you stayed behind alone. That would explain why they couldn't visit when you were hospitalized. But anyway, I should probably contact Shin about this. Wait just a minute, I'll call him. His brother. Shin? Who's Shin? Hey Shin, it's me. You still awake? Mai collapsed and hit her head, so she needs to be hospitalized for a while. Her memories are kind of hazy now, and she hasn't been after normal since we left the hospital. So try not to call her for a while until she gets better. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they did test. No, they were all negative. What? Oh, I see. Isn't that a little cold, even for you? What did you say, Shin? There's no need to worry. I'm looking after her. What do you mean? I thought you wanted to know, and that's why I called you. I said, hey, wait. He hung up that idiot. My, my mouth isn't working. All right. Mr. Trimshin, he says, that klutz, idiot. You are so mean. Do you know who Shin is? I guess you wouldn't. Shin is a childhood friend just like me. You've known him since you couldn't since kindergarten he's a year below you and i'm a year above you do you remember that at least anyway you shin and i always play together until high school at least after that we started growing further apart we moved we went into college we started living alone still we all kept in contact our parents are all friends so the three of us have been like siblings to each other but no, it's nothing. On the day you collapsed, I was on my way to your apartment complex to wait for you. We were planning to meet after a long time apart. When I saw you on the ground like that, when I arrived, I was so shocked. <sighs> so that's what happened. Yeah, I'd be shocked too. But it's fine now, since you're okay. Mind if I have some coffee? I'll get some from the kitchen. You want some too, right? Huh, looks like Tomo knows his way around your house. He must have come here a lot before you lost your memories. Here you go. I put plenty of sugar in there. Who's that? Wait a second. I'll go check. Oh, it's you. So you've decided to show up after all. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. After all, could that mean that is that Shin guy he was talking to on the phone earlier? Shin's here, Maya. It is Shin. <laughs> What's this? You look perfectly fine. Why do I even need to come here? What a waste. I don't know how to do his voice, but I should make him sound possibly arrogant. That's the first thing you have to say. Oh, this is so this is Shin. Thomas said he's a year below you, right? She was hospitalized, you should show a little more concern. Well, it's not like I mind checking up on her, just saying. So what happened? Were you just being an idiot and fell over? Or do you have low blood pressure or something? That's why I told you, living alone isn't for you. Are you hurt? Did you injure anything beside your head? And what did he mean your memories are hazy? 
Okay, that's enough. She doesn't need your inter you interrogating her. She's barely even injured. They took an MRI and there should be no problems. She saw a ton of doctors at the hospital, so the chance that they missed anything is nearly zero. And there's no point in telling her now that she shouldn't live alone. She's already here. Just have a seat for now. Is coffee all right with you? I don't like bitter things. You could at least make it black tea with lots of sugar and milk. Well, black tea is good. I kind of give you a thumbs up on that chin. How oh, what are you? More importantly, Toma. She was in the hospital all that time and you waited until just now to contact me about it? It's like you hid this from me. It's ticking me off. Oh no, sibling rivalry. I did hide this from you. I didn't want it to interfere with your exams. You've interfered plenty already. I got another one tomorrow. What? Then why did you come here? Go home. It's a little late for that now. Whatever. I'll go home soon. But next time something like this happens, call me. Or text me or something, and I don't need you telling me to study. You're the one who told me this last minute. Okay, okay, I got it. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, she doesn't strike me as the type to die easily, even if she was killed. You know she isn't talking much at all. Uh-oh. Yeah, she still might be recovering from the accident. The doctor said she would be back to normal in two or three days. Two or three days, and if not, you'll take her back to the hospital, right? Huh, wait, no, two or three days was just for the injury? Her memories need just a bit longer, please. Ugh, oh, it's not like they can hear me. It's no use getting so worked up like this. Ah. She's just a bit spaced out, but it's not like she's behaving strangely otherwise, so don't worry. This is already strange enough. Is it really okay to leave her alone like this when she's so out of it? Should I stay over? What? What are you talking about? It's fine. I'd just be taking care of her. You realize we're not kids in kindergarten anymore, right? And I doubt she'd be able to get any rest of you two men were, if two men were staying in the room with her. Oh, so it's two men now. What's your plan to make me go home and stay here yourself? I've never said that. If you go home, I'll go home. Besides, you need to study. I can study here. You didn't bring anything with you. If your grades get shot because of this, I won't call you the next time anything happens. Oh, I see. I bet that was your plan all along. I don't mind if you think that. You know it's just common sense, Shin. God, how long is this going to go on? I'm actually going to go a little over 15 minutes. So what do you think, Amaya? Are you going to be okay on, on your own? I could be neutral if they help you fight. All right, I'm going to end it here because I think it's okay to come back to this. But this is Mad Aurora, guys, playing Amnesia Memories. Um, can't believe sibling rivalry just goes off like that. So second part got interesting really quick. I think this is going to be an interesting story. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, please give me a like if you want to see more stuff like this give me a subscribe. Maybe I'll have more money to get more dating sims soon. I'm only getting 15 hours, so I can't promise y'all I'll be getting any new game, dating games, but I will be playing more of this. Anywho, um, I was just saying, I was like, anywho, um, <laughs> again, I hope y'all are having a good day, guys. This is Madame Aurora, signing out. Toodaloo, YouTube!